DC Reto dedica esta canción a todos los hondureños y a todos los latinos que sufrieron en el huracán Mitch. Uh, the group was 29 violist students, um, originally 31, but we uh, found out that two could not come, so we brought 29. Um, I believe there was 16 girls, 13 guys. They're all um, undergrad except for maybe one or two. Um, and they all volunteered. We did not, they didn't do this for a scholarship. They didn't. Um, I do this for community service. It was all on the basis of desire to go. Um, and we all raised money. Um, it comes out of our own pocket or what we could raise. Um, and we went to Honduras. Uh, the trip has been going on for 22 years. Um, Viola has been in partnership with a with an organization in Honduras called Diaconia Nacional, which is a completely Honduran-run project that works to improve communities. Um, we, with, we work with the aspect of bringing villages running water. Um, Viola has been <coughs> in the community present that we went to this past year for the last couple of years bringing water from the main tanks so that kind of running water in each house. Um, and so the trip uh, goes down there all spring break and we, we uh, basically dig the ditch and put in the pipe so that they can have running water. Well, we first got to Tegucigalpa Friday afternoon, where uh, we spent the rest of the evening there. Um, we stayed in a hotel um, in Tegucigalpa at school downtown. There's a Good Friday parade that we went to, which is um, a pretty big deal. They've got lots of floats, and they've got uh, these cool sawdust murals on the ground that the floats walk over. Um, and they were very religious, talking about um, Jesus and what he's done and, and uh, the significance of Good Friday. Uh, the next morning we actually left for the village that we'd be working in the rest of the week. Uh, it took about three hours, three, four hours. Um, we see lots of hunter and countryside. It's very uh, green. Uh, there's a lot of rainfall and um, you see sporadic housing and villages. Um, and that sort of thing. First day when we got there, um, they uh, showed us where we were living, um, which was a pretty, it was better than I expected. Uh, the house was an abandoned house that, that uh, one of the actual military guys owned. And uh, we somehow crammed 29 people in there. Uh, they had little little mattresses, cushions for us that we all got and we just kind of slept on the floor wherever we could. Then that night um, the neighboring village actually had prepared a night service for us to participate in. Um, it was basically just a normal church service where uh, we got to we got to worship with them and hear, uh, hear a message from the, from the word that um, a, Hond a local Honduran pastor preached. Um, that was really cool just to have the village receive us and thank us for being there and talk about the project and, and their excitement for us. That was a really cool experience to finally get to see these people that we had been praying for, the people that we had been longing to help and minister to, to um, be with them and help them out and serve them. So it was really cool. Uh, the first morning when we started digging, uh, it was somewhat 
um, interesting. It was really cool though to work alongside the Hondurans um, because we knew that we aren't going to be able to finish the project but just to provide them with the encouragement that someone else is there wanting them to have water and working with them. Um, it was really cool and that just for me personally to look down the line and see the line of people a mix of Hondurans and Americans working side by side to just get running water to a village. That to me is a very good picture of what the gospel is and how it should be preached and spread. Um, and that's always a, an encouragement to me and definitely something that I will keep stored away in my memory anytime that you know, I need to. Um, Principalmente mi persona, ¿ah? porque eh, yo, aquí estamos trabajando juntos, unidos, porque si sí quiere Dios que seamos unidos todos, ¿verdad? Y, y así vamos a seguir nosotros, siempre unidos. Gracias. Uh, it's a good trip with um, a great way to share the gospel um, and a great way to impact uh, the world for Jesus Christ. And I don't know of any other ministry opportunity that does it as consistently as the Honduras ministry does. In 22 years, it's a long time to be investing in um, a relationship uh, with one group of people. And that, that to me is a really, really good thing. Um, I hope that Biola continues this long to the future and keeps working with Yakamia. They're a great organization. I was really impressed with um, just their vision for bringing the gospel and also just helping people out with their physical, everyday needs. Um, to have that balance of bringing the gospel and meeting the needs is very rare. Um, it was good to see Hondurans Christians working for that. And that was just, that's just a ministry that's good to be a part of. I hope in the future that I will continue to be a part of the ministry with the Akane at some realm, um, whether that be a future church that I'm in or um, some sort of organization. I, I hope, and it's part of my plan to, to be a part of that organization just because it's run so well and the trip does great things for God's kingdom. Then they're gonna fly right in. Woo!